Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a blessed Saturday together. Uh, every year, we as a Christians, we celebrate the occasion, not the day, of the crucifixion and the resurrection of the Messiah. And for sure, the Antichrist religions, uh, they will do their best to make Jesus look like as if he is nobody, like he did nothing, his book is corrupted, all his teaching is gone, he did not, he was not crucified, he is not the son of God. I mean, in fact, uh, I will make a video, maybe one of you, he sent me a, a link for a fatwa about how superior Muhammad, way more than Jesus. So the Antichrist, Satanic Antichrist cult of Islam, uh, it always try its best to put Christ down. And the attempt of the Satan, Aka Muhammad, Aka Allah, is always a very funny and stupid failure. And as you see, each time a Muslim he call us, he end either leaving Islam or going crazy. And today we will show you how the stupid Quran and the author of the Quran, the same place where he denied that Jesus was not crucified is the same place he confirmed the crucifixion of Jesus. There is only one place in the Quran speak about the crucifixion of Jesus. But before we go there, and actually surprisingly, I wanted to open this verse <laughs> and I found it open in my screen, like from the previous uh, uh, broadcast. <clears throat> in chapter 3, verse number 144, it says, and I will show you how Muslim they lie in the translation, Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and indeed, between two brackets, many messengers pass away before him. Have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? Many messengers passed away before him? What, what does that mean? There is no many. All messengers before him, they pass away. So how we can fix this? Because if we translate accurately, that means Muhammad is a fraud and Jesus based in the Christian story, in the Bible, in the witness, and historian, he was crucified, which means he passed away. So the Mohammedan, to fix it, they add many. And you cannot imagine how stupid this many is. Like we are talking about all messengers before Muhammad. Many of them, they pass away. Does that mean there's many of them? They are not. You see, when I say many of them, that's mean uh, few, not a lot. But who are they, those people who did not pass away and they are messenger of Allah? If you change the translator, let us see, this is uh, Hilali and Khan. Let us go to Itani. All right. The Quran is a is a joke, uh, as usual. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Look at this guy. Messengers have passed before him, passed on before him. Have you ever heard of a sentence make no sense like this? Messengers have passed be on before him. What does that mean? I mean, is that a news? What 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 does that mean? This is not a correct translation again. All messengers before him, they die. Change the translator. Again, this is Itani Allah. I don't know why he called his translation Itani Allah. Maybe his last name is Allah. His first name is Abdul. Let us see Khattab. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Other messengers have gone away, gone before him. <laughs> Look at this. 
But, and you know, the funny is, the Muhammadan, they say to us that the Quran is a very strong Arabic. What, what the heck does that mean? In, in which language that makes sense? Messengers, they pass away before him. Messengers, they have gone away before him. Messenger, they die before him. What does that mean? All of them they die, many they die, a few they die. Everyone he tried to get you his own grocery. Let us change the translator. Maududi. Let us see Maududi Dudi. Again, and messengers have passed away before him. Messengers pass away before him. In the same chapter, the same verse, you will see that Muhammad is a false prophet and his God is a fraud. Why? Allah do not know if Muhammad is going to be killed or he will not, he will die normally. Read with me carefully. Whoever turn, you know, uh, uh, if uh, uh, if then he were to die or to be slain, or there is a third option. See, Allah, He do not know how Muhammad will die. What do you mean if he die or get killed? If there's a third option. Do Allah, does Allah know how Muhammad will die? And if he say he will get killed and Muhammad get killed, that will be a prophecy. If he say he will die normally, that be a prophecy if this is what will happen. So why Allah is afraid to say how Muhammad will die? Normal death or he will be killed? Because obviously Muhammad do not know and he is making this verse. But the important for us in this stupid statement, Muhammad die and Muhammad get killed, Muhammad die by the poison, Muhammad die by the poison by the Jew or his wife Hafsa or Aisha. We don't care what happened that Muhammad is dead and the Messiah is alive. So both of us, Christians and Muslims, we agree that the Messiah is right now in heaven. And both of us, we agree that Muhammad, he stink and he died. For sure he stink after he died, but he was stinking before he died. And even the hadith of the Muslim books confirm that Muhammad, he stink. You know what happened? Muhammad, he said, uh, you know, obviously Muhammad, he was trying to copy uh, a person, his name is Manny. I don't know if you heard of Manny. Manny is a person he claimed to be the Messiah or a new version of the Messiah. Actually, until now, there is like a small group of people, you know, the weirdo, anyway, say, they follow Prophet Manny. So Prophet Manny, who is a false prophet, he tried to present himself as a Christ. Even though his followers, they tried to present even to make his pictures somehow resemble someone like Christ. So if you go, you will find many pictures like this. Even sometimes he looked like Buddha. Hmm? And even Prophet Manny, they tried to crucify him. Hmm. What a story. So this man who came a few hundred years after Christ, Obviously, Muhammad is trying to copy his story if Muhammad was to exist or the story of Mani was given different name, Muhammad. We cannot confirm which one of them, but obviously Mani come before Muhammad.
as a date. But if we go to the Hadith, Muhammad he claimed, and that will explain to us why the Muhammadan did not bury Muhammad for three days. Three days Muhammad was not buried. Muhammad claimed, speaking to his pagan followers, saying that the most excellent of your days is Friday. So invoke many prayer on me, not blessing, that's a lie. You see in Arabic it says Salah. Salah in Arabic is not a blessing. In Arabic the word blessing is Baraka. So they lie in the translation. So invoke many prayer on me in that day. For your prayer will be submitted to me. And this is a proof actually that this is cannot be blessing. Because a blessing will not be submit to a person. Prayer will be submitted. Same time, people cannot bless you. People, they can ask God to bless you. So it is a prayer. So you pray to Allah. So Allah, he receive your prayer on Muhammad. And Muhammad, he claimed that the prayer you make is going to go to him. But then the Muhammad and they ask him, the companions, they call them the companions, but they are drug dealers and pirates at that time. Uh, ask the messenger of Allah, how we can send our prayer to you to be submitted to you, but your body will be decayed? That is a good question. He said, Allah has forbidden it, the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. Anyone notice with me how stupid this answer is? Who want to help me? You know, remember when we do our videos here, we try to make people think with us and, uh, you know, think differently from the average person. Like you, when you read, you don't see, you know, read carefully. Use your brain. What is wrong in what he just said? There is something very stupid. Anyone can help me? What is a stupid in this story? Very, very, very bad, very stupid. But this is uh, Ibn Dawood, this is Sahih, but we can show it in different places, not only here. This is very authentic, as you see. Hadith number 1531. Anyone can tell me? What is the problem? Big problem. All prophet were bodies was consumed. Okay, that is a good point. But there's bigger problem. Who wanna think with me? Come on. From 500 people, nobody can give me the correct answer? Muhammad is a sinner. Okay, no problem. That's not... It confirmed that he would die. Exactly. But but there is something more stupid. Okay, let, let me help you. What is the question? Focus on the question and focus on the answer. And then you will see the stupidity. The question is, they are asking... How our prayer will be submitted to you when your body will be decay? The question is stupid, and the answer is more stupid. Why? Because if his body decay or not, are you dead or not? Are you following? Who care if your body decayed or not? The question is, how our prayer is going to be submitted to you? What the point? If I put a person inside the refrigerator, here we go. His body is not going to be decayed forever as long as the refrigerator is working. 
So what's the point of submitting the prayer to you, stupid Muhammad? So the question, the question is made by an idiot. The answer, he have a PhD in idiot word. Your body decay, your body did not decay, that will not change because why at the end of the day, what the point of submitting their prayer to you when you cannot hear it? You know, the, the, the point here, they are saying to him, he will be dead, you know, what, what the heck is that? So he said to them, my body will not decay? Well, so? I mean, do you see how silly, how stupid? Are you dead or not? He's dead. Then we find in the hadith that Muhammad body he stink. <laughs> that alone is enough to prove to anyone that Muhammad is a fraud. He just told them that his body will not decay. And then, because he said that, they believed him. And after they did that, the stomach of Muhammad became big like a balloon and he started farting. You know, there is a, there is a movie, I don't know if any of you watch it, about a guy, uh, he, like, uh, the ship destroyed, he... He landed in an island. He found a dead body from the ship with him. And because he is like desperate to find somebody to talk to him, so he put a dead man in front of him. He went crazy. And then the dead man, he starts farting. Anyone watch it? I don't, I don't know the name of the... Uh, so when a, when a man die, and nobody clean his stomach, especially if he ate not long time ago, he didn't go to the bathroom yet, did not go like many hours, so he consumed the food, and the food either, you know, like uh, uh, used as an energy or, uh, you know, as a poop. That thing will cause the body to fart. The gas, the bacteria inside the stomach, is alive. And now they are going to digest the food in the stomach. And that will make gas. And now because the person is dead, there is no way to release the gas in any normal way, including farting. So his stomach will get bigger and bigger and bigger until it cannot take it no more. And then the dead body will start farting breaking wind I will show you the reference and I challenge any Mohammedan to say I'm making things up this is the book it's called at tabakat al-kubra very number two page number 271 and here it says Take care of your prophet, man. He been taken up. Maybe he Allah took him to heaven. Take care of him. His belly is full. His stomach is full. It's getting bigger. Full of fart. Let us use a translation of Google. Uh, I know a translation here. He was a crippled. I know what the heck is that. I know, but here you see, wait until his uh, 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 as, 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 usurped his stomach, you know. 
translation is not you know good enough but here it tell you that Muhammad's stomach is full of fart his stomach is getting bigger and bigger and bigger but this guy just told them uh, that prophets of Allah they will not decay now for sure the Muslim they will say to you this is the if this is Daif. This is Daif. Okay, Daif. Yeah. But the fun, the funny is, Daif or not Daif, it's said by you. And Daif means it is okay. Daif does not mean it's rejected, by the way. They have ranks for what so called hadith. So it's written by you, published by you, printed by you, and read by us. In the same book, just the page after, actually, you know, page number 267, 267. The same book, at tabaqat al-Kubra, by Ibn Sa'd, variant number two, page number 267. It says here, that Al Abbas he said, In Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yasanu kama yasanu al bashar. The Messenger of Allah he stink as all human beings they stink. And he continues saying, Qad mata fatfunu sahibakum. He died, bury him. And if you don't bury him, you are you are you are making him die twice. Let us translate. Maybe Christian Prince is lying. You know? This is the name of the book. This is the author, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, part number two, part number two, page number 267. And here it says, he is saying, bury your friend Uh, let us see the translation and you will notice here the Muslim talking about uh, Muhammad as someday they, they believe he is dead some they don't want to believe he's dead uh, I don't see where the translation is coming I know Maybe I should use Google Translation just one line at a time. Anyone see where it says he stink? I, I think I think Google could, did not get the word correctly. Let us go back. And we will open Google Translation. We will copy Google translation uh, we will copy from here and we will go uh, copy and we will go to Google translation paste despair as a human despair is it is despair is a correct translation is, is despair mean like he stink i'm not really familiar with this uh, word if it if if, if this is what it means then the translation is accurate so the arabic says it clearly he stink as all a human they does stink you know when they die and he is saying to them bury it's a wrong. What does what despair mean? Um, let me see what the word. Despair is humans despair. Despair. Yeah. 
let us say the spare meaning the complete lose of hope abstinence no so this is a false translation uh, let us use Arabic English dictionary we will copy the word yasan and I will try to find the the meaning of yasan all right Uh, I will use here the funny is this uh, this dictionary here they want to spread Islam you see the commercial in the top spread Islam you know yeah they want to spread Islam uh, let me post all right. So, yes, yeah, son. Stang it. Is that a correct? Uh, does it mean stink? Stang it. Stang it. Yeah, here, yes, is different word. You see here, this is not yes, son. This is the correct one, yes, son. Stang it. I don't know what stang it means. Let me check what stang it is. Hmm. Well, even in the dictionary, what does it mean? If a person sting it, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't know. I didn't see any connection between the word. Staying in a place. Oh, this is a false translation. Then. <clears throat> Yeah, yes, son. Yes, son is a person who stink. Uh, I'm trying to find. Maybe if we copy the word, let us see if we copy the sentence. And we try to post it here in the top. It doesn't appear. Let us see. Still. Yeah, this thing it doesn't make any sense. Let us use just Arabic dictionary, Arabic, Arabic, and then we translate the page. Oh. All right. Yes, and yes, and yes, and they are giving me a thousand words that have nothing to do with the word I'm looking for. Yes, and yes, and you see, I'm, I open dictionary, the same page in Arabic, and they are giving me a lot of words that have nothing to do with my word. They are showing me yes, yes, I want yes, and look, there's page number one, page number two, page number three. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? Uh, I have a better idea.
What if we try to find this word in the hadith? I uh, know. Ah, look, look, it's amazing, amazing, guys. I found, I found in the website, I found the hadith we are trying to translate. But look, they did not translate the hadith. They keep it in Arabic. Do you see it? It says, وَإِنَّهُ لَبَشَرٌ يَأْسُنُ كَمَا يَأْسُنُ الْبَشَرُ If I click in it, it says error. <laughs> Is that an error in purpose? <laughs> so the hadith is found based on here. It says in the top, Sunan al-Durami. And this is what you see. There's no translation for the hadith. And this is the hadith in Arabic. If I click in it, it shows me this internal server on uh, uh, error. And this is the address in the top. Let me do another trick. But how we can copy it? We cannot. You have to click at the page to copy. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, we challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. Everybody knows that the word yes and mean, he stink. So Muhammad, he stink. As all human beings, they stink. The Muslim did not bury him for three days. Sunan Abi Dawood. Okay, hold on. Is it translated in Sunan Abi Dawood? In your hopes? Let me look for it. Give me a second. No, no. We we saw we show that one, the one you are telling me. We saw it already. We are to, we are talking about the hadith where he stink. What you are showing me have nothing to do. Like we, we already saw that. Uh, yeah. So I have it here in this website. And all what I did, I searched for the word yes, and you know, you see here, this is not yes, and this is yes, and this is not yes, and too. I put the word yes, and here, and it was the third, like one of the three, the third result. But when you try to click in it, it appeared in a very weird way. And actually, hold on, it says here the number of the hadith. So this is Sunan al-Durami. Let us go up. Maybe we can find it in different websites, so give me a second. The way they write, though, even the word is wrong. Ad Dorami. Ad. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Everything is possible. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, re uh, here it appeared the Remy. The Remy. And we will type the hadith number. Let us see. Yeah, when I type it, it doesn't show me that hadith. Hmm. Anyway, so Muhammad, he stink. Muhammad, he failed in his first test after dying. He told them that uh, the prophet they will never you know they will never stink, and they will never be uh, uh, decayed. 
And later they found that this is absolutely false. Muhammad is obviously lying. And actually this will be a good uh, test for the Muhammadan. As long as Muhammad, he said, messengers of Allah, their body do not decay. Then we should find all the bodies of the prophets of God. And there is 124,000 prophets of them, according to Muhammad. So where is the prophets who their body did not decay? Which one? Where we can find them? You know, very, very stupid story. Going back now to our, our topic. So Muhammad died, Muhammad killed by poison. Muhammad, uh, uh, when he died by poison, as he confirmed, not me, according to the Muhammadan, the majority of them, some the Shia, they accuse Aisha and Hafsa that they are the one who killed Muhammad, story by poison. The Sunni, they believe it is the Jew because a Jewish woman, she gave Muhammad poison after he killed all her family and her tribe, which is very normal revenge. But what this hadith confirmed for us that Muhammad, he died in a very horribly long, slow period of death. The period between his death and the time he ate the, the poison, it is more than four years. So imagine for four years, Muhammad cannot enjoy a meal, cannot enjoy sleeping, cannot enjoy his life, and to the point he arrived where he cannot even stand, he cannot even talk, he cannot walk, he cannot go, he cannot even pee. They have a little dish underneath of him, he cannot move. They bring the dish, they, they flip him, they, he, you know, he poop on the, on the dish underneath of him. Uh, and then we need to ask ourselves, as long as the Muhammadan, they believe that Allah will not let his prophet be uh, facing him unity or to be killed by his enemy. So why Allah, he saved Jesus, according to them, and Allah did not save Muhammad. According to Muhammadan, Muhammad is way more superior than any other prophet, especially Jesus. Let me try to find you the fatwa. Um. All right. I found the one it says he is superior over prophets or all the prophets, but I want to find the one it says specifically. Over Jesus. All right. You know what? Let me see. What was the title? They send me in Patreon, give me a second. Okay.
I uh, know why everything is not opening, everything is going slow. Welcome to America. The internet is so slow. All right. The superiority of a prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over other prophet. Okay, let us search for this. <laughs> I will type exactly the title in a funny way. Salla. <laughs> La. <laughs> you should see this. Alayhi. <laughs> what a joke. Wasallam. <laughs> Over other prophets. What a comedy. Okay, here we go. Uh the Prophet Muhammad Islam Web dot net Islam Web Islam Web I don't know, even I I uh, I type the same headline, I cannot even find <clears throat> you see there's tons of website all of them speak about Muhammad that he is superior over or over the prophet I mean there's tons of them you know the, you know uh, Allah preferred the prophet Muhammad over blah 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 so there's tons of, of, of websites saying that uh, but I could not find the exact title I'm looking for but anyway, here they were seeing that the Muhammadan claiming that Muhammad is the best between all the prophets for sure. For sure, Muhammad is superior. There's no doubt that the Prophet Muhammad is the best of them. As he said, I am the master of the children of Adam, the first from whom the earth will be cleft upon, open. And the first inter intercessor, and the first who inter uh, who is intercession will be accepted. And here Muhammad he make a popo again, because he claimed that when he is going to be resurrected he is the first, but then he say, when he is resurrected, when he open his eyes he will find Musa's standing. <laughs> so how you are the first to be resurrected, and Musa's is there. But anyway, as you see, those people, they, they, they worship this man. And they claim that other prophets, uh, the Quran says that Allah did not differentiate between his prophet. In one verse, in other verse, it says the opposite. Let us go to the Quran. Chapter 2, verse number 253, it says, Those are the messengers we sent. We favor some in ranks above others. So Allah in this chapter here, saying, He favor people upon people. Chapter 2, verse number 253. Let us go back to the search. Uh, let us see. The other verse here. In chapter 4, verse 125, it says there is no differentiation between the messengers. But let us continue to find uh, something more clear uh, about, uh, 
about that. The search engine here is not really, uh, not not good. So I have to use different. It's faster for me from going looking for the verse by scrolling down the page. Uh, let's see here. The other verse says, "لا نفرق بين أحد." Chapter two, verse number two eighty-five, which means the same chapter, and chapter four, verse one fifty-two. It says here that we do not do differentiate between the messengers and each other. We do not differentiate. They are equal. Going back, verse number two, chapter number two, verse number two eighty-five. We don't differentiate between the messengers of Allah. Allah don't differentiate between them. As you see. And we do not discriminate against any of his messengers. That's first translation, by the way. It says we don't differentiate. The funny is the same translator. He is using the same word in different verse saying discriminate and the other verse saying differentiate. Let us see this one. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, we make no distinguish between one and other of his messengers. Do you see it? But we just showed you in the same chapter how Allah supposedly saying, we favor some prophets over others, but here he distinguished between them. There's ranks. So there's ranks or there's no ranks. But then we find that Muhammad, according to Muhammadan, he is the highest rank. So we will go with this. Muhammad is the highest rank. Maybe because he's child molester. Maybe because he went to his own son's wife. He flirted with her. And then he slept with her. Maybe because he married a woman. She is in the age of his mother. Because she's rich. Maybe because he made the father of Khadija with Khadija drunk. And they lied to him saying to him, you married me to Khadija. When the guy, he woke up, he found himself wearing his Arabian wedding suit. And he have no idea what happened by scamming him, making him believe that he is the one who married them. Maybe because Muhammad, you know, have zero miracles in the Quran. Uh, maybe because Muhammad died by poison and his wife, they killed him. Maybe, I wouldn't know why, he is superior over Jesus, according to Muslims. But we will go with the trend. Muhammad is superior. So why Muhammad is dead and Jesus is alive? How you can be superior and you don't live to the end of the movie? You know, when you watch an American movie, Indian movie, you don't remind me of Indian movies. I say Indian movies, there's 10,000 dancers will jump in suddenly in front of you. Let us not to go there. Indian movie, Turkish movie, Bangladesh movie, whatever. I mean, always the hero live to the end of the movie. Have you ever heard of a hero who died in the beginning? The story is over. So how Muhammad is a superior and he is the hero of the movie of Allah. And then Muhammad, he died in the beginning of the movie. And the Messiah, he is the one who will come and kill the devil. I mean, have you ever heard of a superior like this? Hey, Muhammadan, who is the one who will come at the end of the time? Isa, brother Isa, Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, brother. Okay. Where Muhammad will be at that time, Muhammad will be in the grave, brother. So who will finish the business of God in earth? Uh, Isa, brother, Isa, uh, which means Jesus, brother. So who is the superior? Any Muslim can tell me? And now if we go to the verses speaking about how Jesus was supposedly not crucified, not crucified. 
you will find that the same verse, the stupid Muhammad he came with to prove to us that Jesus was not crucified is the same verse confirmed that Jesus crucified. This is the stupid Quran. This verse confirmed to us many things. Number one, the Jews says we killed the Messiah. A smart Muslim once, he uh, came to me. You know, the Muslim, they copy from each other. He said, Christian Prince, there was somebody next to Jesus in the cross. His name is Jesus too. So this is the Jesus, the true Jesus, the one who died, okay? The false Jesus is the one who gets killed. Do is stupid. Are you against your Quran? Even your Quran is saying that we killed the Messiah and not Jesus. The Quran never mentioned the word Jesus. We killed the Messiah, the son of Mary. So they identify him that he is the Messiah and he is the son of Mary. Is the other guy the son of Mary and he is the Messiah too? Muslim potatoes, you know what you can say. But I mean, we love we love at their at their uh, uh, funny uh, questions. So, what the Jews confirm? The Jews they confirm that they killed the Messiah. So let us take number one. So now we have all the Jews confirming that the Messiah. Be my witness, Muhammadan. This is not me saying that. This is a stupid Quran. All the Jews, you know, they say we killed the Messiah. If you don't like this translation, we can change it for you. Remember, we are here at your service. This is Hilali Ankhon. Let us take to Yusuf Ali. If you don't like Yusuf Ali, we can switch to other, you know. We have tons of those idiots. They said we killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. Okay, so who? Not one, not two. All of them, they said. Who? The Jews. The Quran is speaking about the Jews. The Jews, even they accuse Mary, she did something bad. The Jews, hmm? this is what Allah he did to the Jews, Jews, and then here he says, they say we killed the Messiah. So all the Jews confirm the death of the Messiah. Versus who? We have all the Jews in the time of Jesus witnessing the death of the Messiah. Zero Muhammadan witness. Take that into note. Then, what else? So, those are the witness and those are the criminals, supposedly. They killed the Messiah, all of them. Which Messiah is confirmed? He is the Messiah, there is no other Messiah. His name is Isa, or Aka Jesus, the son of Maria. Okay. And here he say, but they killed him not, nor crucified him. But it was made to appear to them. You just confirm it again, you stupid. He just confirmed in one line, they crucified him not, they killed him not. In the second part of the sentence, he confirmed that this is what they witnessed. Are you with me? So the Quran confirmed one billion percent the story in the Bible because what the Bible says they saw him even the disciple of Jesus said you know John he says we uh, you know we touch his wound we saw it we touch it we saw it and we touch it his mother was there The Quran now confirmed that Allah He made someone look like the Messiah on the cross. But how is how that will will cancel the story? That will confirm the story. So if a Muhammad want to say to me that Allah He did lie to us and He put someone look like Jesus, that means many things. Allah is a stupid. Because if not Allah doing that, no Christian will believe in Jesus' crucifixion. Correct? Which means, if we believe in Jesus' crucifixion because of Allah lies. So Allah is a liar. And the Muhammadan, they say, well, Allah, nothing like him. Uh, Satan, nothing like him. Nothing like Satan. And here we go. If this is true what happened, Allah, 
He must be Satan because he deceived three billion Christians. And he waited 600 years after Christ to come to tell us what happened. Not like a month after, a week after. But the important for us as a Christians that what is written in the Bible is what the people of the Bible they witness. Do you understand what I'm saying? If this is the Quran confirmed, it appeared to them. That mean what? Appeared to John, appeared to Peter, appeared to all the disciples of Jesus, appeared to Mary, appeared to the soldiers, appeared to the Jews, the whole nation of Israel. So it appeared to everybody that Jesus in the cross. So Muhammad, he have zero witness. He did not see Jesus on the cross. He have all the witnesses. Tens of thousands of witnesses. They saw Christ on the cross. This is what the Quran is saying. This is what the stupid Quran is saying, the goat Quran. So how a stupid Muhammad, he will say to us, he's not there. But you just said to us, all those people, the Roman, the Jews, the Christians, everybody, Allah made it appear to us. And based on this, if the Muhammadan want to believe in such a garbage, that means how you can trust Allah. Maybe it appeared to you that Jesus was not on the cross, and maybe it appeared to you that Jesus even exists, but he's not. And maybe it appeared to you that Muhammad exists, but he's not. And maybe it appeared to you that Jibreel came to Muhammad, but it's not. And maybe it appeared to you that Allah is a God, but he's not. As long, as long, it appeared to you. And Allah is so good at making things appear. That means we cannot trust Allah. This is Mr. Appear. Do we have any Muhammad and have a comment? So as you see, the story in the Quran confirmed the story in the Bible. Yes, Jesus was crucified. The stupid Muhammad, he wanted to deny it, but he confirmed it. Can you be stupid more than this? Maybe when Muhammad, he died, Maybe it appeared to you, Muslims. Maybe this is not Muhammad. What is the proof that Muhammad died? Any Muslim can tell me. If Allah want to save Jesus by making someone look like him appear, and Muhammad is superior according to Muhammadan, are you saying to me that Muhammad did not die? And Allah make it appear to be. So the same is stupid Quran verse denying the crucifixion of Jesus is the same verse confirming the Bible story. That yes, and you know, because we are a Christian and we are honest, we write down what we saw, which means what appeared to us to be. You know what I say to appear to me. I saw it. What appear? What appear mean? What, how we feel it? How we see? I mean, they bury him. They take him from the cross. Appear what? So the Muhammadan they say that yes, there is a person. He look exactly like Jesus. He have a voice of Jesus. He have the eyes of Jesus. He have the height of Jesus. The look of Jesus. But this is mean. This, this did not appear. This is Jesus. All what you are saying to me, that your false God Allah, he made two Jesus now. <laughs> and he decided to kill one of them. <laughs> Guys, you understand what I'm saying? Allah decided to make two Jesus. And then he decided to let one of them, one of them to be killed. But... That confirm our story that the, there is that there is a Christ in the cross. This is number one. He was a crucified. He died, and the Jews killed him. So we have all the Jews confirming the death of Jesus in the same verse. 
We have all the Roman. We have tens of thousands of witnesses in the same verse. And in the same stupid verse, confirm that yes, this is what they saw. So how that can be false? If somebody go to the court and the judge ask you, tell us, you, they, you, they call you witness. Is that correct? You know, Muhammad, Muhammad, he come with an idea that if you find a man sleeping with your wife, you have to bring four witnesses. Okay. Four witnesses to do what exactly? They have to see the penis, excuse my language, the penis of the man going in and out like an inkwell and pen. That's what Muhammad said. There's a man Look at this hadith. Look at this donkey. Sad, he said to Muhammad, uh, Hey, Prophet, what do you think? If I find my wife with a man, should I give him some time until I bring for witnesses? He said, yes. <laughs> So four witnesses is enough to prove. But just be careful, okay? If you are a Muslim, you come to your house, you find Muhammad hijab with your wife. Don't get him busted. Give him some time. Tell him, hey, Mimi, continue, please. I need to go and fight, fight for witnesses. You go outside, you start calling your friends. The first one, he's busy. The second one, he is washing dishes. The third one, he's having sex. The fourth one, he is doing grocery. You keep calling your friends until you come find four witnesses and you give time to the guy doing boom, boom to your wife. And this is to prove fornication. Four witnesses, we can't prove it. And it's what? It's just fornication, not the crucifixion of Jesus. In the, in the case of Jesus, we have tens of thousands of people, all the Jews, all the Roman who were there, they witnessed Jesus crucified and the Quran with confirm it. There's different hadith Muhammad he mentioned that if you if you are in, if you are traveling, never go to your house uh, directly. There's a program I don't know if any Egyptian here in Egypt they ask the sheikh, uh, what is the wisdom of this? Like you you send your wife uh, a messenger before you go home. Uh, you don't go home at night, you know? You tell her a, a day adv advance that you are going home. Why you want to do that? I mean, shouldn't the guy go to his house? The sheikh, he come with the solution, told you, Prophet of Allah is so wise. Why you want to go home and maybe she have a man with her? Tell her. So you will avoid the disaster. Because you go there, you cannot find four witnesses in the moment. The guy, he will leave. And you have no proof. And if you accuse her that she have a fornication with someone and you don't have four witnesses, according to Islam, they will whip your back. Can you believe it? Your wife is sleeping around and you can't prove it. This is why cheating, uh, Muslim women cheating, is the easiest thing to do. Because you cannot confirm it. It's impossible. And not only you will bring for witnesses, you have to bring them and they have to see the penis going in and out. Excuse my language. So if the woman, she is doing a position, she is in the top wearing a skirt and you saw nothing. Even she is in the, in the top of him. Because nobody saw the penis. If they are in their blanket, nobody saw the penis. So four witnesses, which is impossible to find, and you have to see the private part going in and out. Actually, there's a story, funny story, of a man, three men, they accuse a Muslim woman of fornication. The caliphate, he asked the first one, 
And they are not lying, by the way. This is what they saw. He asked him, did you see the penis going in and out? He said, no. He said, whip his back. He said, the second one, did you find see the penis going in and out? He said, no, I found her like in the top of him, something. He said, no. The third one, he says, her, her, her feet was around his neck. <laughs> his feet, her feet is around his neck like the ears of a donkey. And they were shaking. The caliphate, he said, this is, I don't care. Did you see his penis going in and out? He said, no. He said, whip his back. So three guys, they saw the women having sex with the guy. And one of them, he saw her feet around the neck of the guy in the top of her. And her feet, like his, the ears of donkey around his neck. And they are shaking. The caliphate, still he did beat them because there's no proof. No proof. In case you do not know, by the way, according to Islam, if you find your wife naked with a man, even if you have four witnesses, and they did not see his penis going in and out, there's no fornication yet. That is nothing. This is called in the Quran al -Limam. But anyway, not our topic for today. But just to show you how stupid this religion is, Tens of thousands of Jews and Romans, they witness in the death of Jesus and the Quran witness for that, that yes, they say we killed the Messiah and they are sure of that. And Allah made them see it, which means every single witness there is a true witness because this is what they saw. They are not lying. In the other hand, you need only four witnesses to prove fornication. The tens of thousands of Jews' witnesses is not enough for the Muslim to prove crucif crucifixion of Jesus. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan have anything to say? Anyone? Any brave Muhammadan? Actually, I will never, uh, uh, for sure I will never be a Muslim. That is the most stupid thing to do. But I will never marry as a Muslim. Because your wife, she can sleep with everybody and there's no way to prove it. And if you accuse her of fornication and you have no proof, the penalty is severe. And there's no way to prove it. If you go in the Quran, you will see the following verse. And all of this because the people, they saw the wife of Muhammad, Aisha, sleeping, with her boyfriend Safwan. Hmm? Chapter 24, verse number 4. Read carefully. For those who launch charge against a chaste woman, she's chaste. So you see your wife naked with a man in the top of him, he's in the top of her, but you have no four witnesses. She's a chaste. And produced not for witnesses. <laughs> the support of the allegation. Flag them with 80 stripes. <laughs> this is why fornication in Islamic in Islamic society is uh, there is no fornication. I mean, because they can prove it. You you see, you can prove a murder by two people. 
by one people. How come I cannot prove fornication except I have four? And how in the world you are going to ask the guy to wait until you go and bring four? You know what? Even even the party of Joe Biden, those liberals, you know, like the homosexual, and I, they will not have patience to go and bring four witnesses. This is remind me once I was in the Philippines, and there was a guy. He is. Uh, I forgot Canadian or American. I think American. Uh, he, you know, he's he he sat next to me in the coffee shop. Hey, how are you? You know, I said hi. He said, "Where are you from?" And blah blah blah. He's American. Yeah, I said. You know, he said to me, "Today is a sad day for me." I said, "Why?" He said, "I walk out. I walk into the shower into my house and I found my wife with someone." I said, "Oh no, man. Sorry for to hear that." Uh, do you do you have kids? He said no. I said okay, we'll divorce her. No. I mean she is a bad woman. She said, oh, I love her. I said oh okay. I said but you know at least be happy you don't have kids. I mean you can leave her easy. Uh, he said oh well, she cannot have kids. I said oh okay. Until now I did not notice. I mean okay, there is women they cannot have kids. So what? And then he said to me, uh, I said, well, you know, I mean, if she uh, uh, she promised not to do that again, maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll forgive her. But if I am you, I will leave such a woman. Such a woman is not trustworthy. Just let her go. He said, this is not the first time. I said, oh, wow, man. Okay. You know. And then I said, listen, as long as you have no kids, uh, you know, you better leave her now. What if she have kids tomorrow from somebody she's sleeping with? And then he said to me, well, uh, she can't have kids because she is a man. <laughs> she is a man. <laughs> and then I said, okay, listen, <clears throat> I have to go. Okay, take care. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And you know, I felt sorry for him and the drama. And almost he's going to cry, you know. And then it turned to being that she cannot have kids because she is a man. All right. Oh boy. Lord have mercy. Do we have any Muhammadan? He want to be the man? This is the party of Joe Biden, you know, and the Muslim, they vote for Joe Biden. They fit together, you know, the same fabric. Any Abdul? <clears throat> he have to see the private part touching. Yeah, I have the source. You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. But we don't know if we will find it in English, but I can give it to you in Arabic. You can use Google Translation. <clears throat> All right. Um. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it in here in English first. We can't find it in English. 
Let us see. <clears throat> yeah, this is a link. I don't know. You can use it. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Uh, let me see first if I can find a different page. This is the same Hadith, actually. The one I told you, I found, I saw her legs, uh, her, her feet around his neck. I just mentioned it. Let us see. Okay, use this website. I don't. Know. This is the only option I see. Uh, I will make the long the the, sh the link short. So you can be able to post it in YouTube. Okay. Here we go. Uh, and you can use Google Translation. And let us open it here. Fatwa number one four zero one nine eight. And the topic is making the penalty for those who accuse women, accuse a woman by fornication. And here you will see the story of uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the caliphate, Omar. He asked the first one, did you see it? Did you see, which means his penis, the same as the stick go inside the inkwell and the same as the pen go in the inkwell? The first one, he said, yes. Look, look at the stupidity. Let me translate to Google. Hold on, give me a second. Let me use Google translation. <laughs> All right. We have to use Google browser. Remember that. So here it says, so here the fatwa number, the degree of Omar Hadith establishing the limit of four who accuse a woman of adultery. So Omar, I heard the story, the Hadith saying of the, about the punishment of accusing a woman, not throwing, like you know, uh, throwing allegation, uh, women. Uh, they testified in front of Al Farooq Omar, the Caliphate. The first one, he was asked, "Have you seen it like the stick, an eyeliner?" Like, or like a pen going inside the inkwell? So he said yes. So the first one, he saw the penis going in and out. He, he saw it. Okay, so that is confirmed by the first one. He asked the second one. Did you see the penis going in and out like an inkwell and like a stick? He said yes. He asked the fourth. He asked the second and the, and, and the, and the third. All of them, that, which means three of them, they saw the man penis going in and out. And now he's asking the fourth. He asked the fourth. The fourth, he said, I saw her legs on his shoulders shaking like ears of donkey. Then he asked him, did you see his penis going like a pen in the inkwell? He said, no. So he said, beat them. <laughs> So you have three men who saw your wife having sex with the guy and his penis going in and out is not enough. And number four, he saw the feet around his neck like the ears of donkeys and they are shaking. That is not enough. Do you see it? This is Islam. <laughs> so if you are a Muslim woman, you, you will never be worried about being uh, caught. Because not only he had to bring four, they have to see it in a slow motion. 
All what you need to do, either wear a skirt and sit in the top of him, or do it under the blanket. The second somebody came, just, uh, you know, separate. That's it, they did not see it. Even if there are 1,000 people they saw, even if there's a billion people they saw them totally naked together, he is moving up and down, she is moving up and down, doesn't matter. Still, there's no proof of fornication. That is the wise Allah and the wise Muhammad. This is why there's zero fornication in the Middle East. How you know it's Sahih? It's in the front of you. It says Sahih. The same page. Use Google Translation. It says Sahih. It's corrected. See? It's correct. This translation here says corrected. Authentic. Sahih. Do you see it? The same website I gave you. It says corrected and explained. Hmm? The game of not correct and not etc. This is a joke. Anything is an embarrassing. They say, well, uh, what is the guarantee that is authentic? So what is how you guarantee that Muhammad himself is authentic then? If the story is full of not authentic things, but as you see here, it is authentic. So four witnesses, they have to see the penis going in and out. And yet Muhammad and the Muhammad, and they say, and this is about fornication, which is not a big deal. I mean, this is a private matter. When we compare it to Jesus' story, four witnesses can prove it. All what they need to do, see the penis going on out. What if the guy using a candom and this candom is colored, not see-through? There is no way to see the penis. Huh? <laughs> he cover it. What do you think, Mama? Do we have any brave Muhammadan? <clears throat> may they, may they. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? So if you are a Muhammad and your wife, she likes to cheat or, you know, well, good for you. I mean, we can, what you can do about it? It's impossible. And you know what? It's funny that the guy, her, her legs around his neck, her feet and her legs around his neck, and they were shaking like the shake of the ear of donkey. They were shaking. And yet... That is not enough to prove fornication. So three, they saw the penis going in and out. The fourth, he saw the legs and he described what he saw. Maybe from his direction, he did not see what they saw. He's being honest. I mean, why do you want to beat the man for being honest? If you want to dismiss the case, dismiss the case. But if this is what they saw... How you can prove that they are lying? This is how stupid this religion is, if we can call it a religion. So, if Mimi Hijab or any of those Abdul, he go inside the house and he see the legs of his wife around the, the, the neck of Ali Dawa. He have no proof. He can't even accuse her of anything. This is how stupid this religion, and they say to you, this is a major religion coming from God, you know. Yeah, you need four witnesses for a rape case. And not only that, you have four witnesses, they have to see the penis going in and out. You know, be careful. <laughs> uh, you know, if somebody is doing a cheating act, uh, they will take all the cushion, cushion like to to uh, you know to to avoid anyone to be seen, and now by making it four, so you open the door of the room, they separate. That's it. 
That's it. We saw nothing. I mean, do you think really there's a man? He's having sex with a woman and her husband, he come. And then as the hadith says, the guy he told Muhammad, should I ask him to, to, to uh, get, like, give him more time so I can go and fight for witnesses? He said, yes. Yes. You open your bedroom door, you see your wife in the top of somebody or he in the top of her. You say to him, Mr. Can you please do me a favor? I need to go and find for witnesses. So it might take me 15, 20 minutes in, in please. Okay. This is a religion. Anyway, well, I'm not going to keep you longer. You know, I have. I hope we have a good time and we learn something good for today. And uh, I hope you guys are saving the reference we are giving you, because later you might ask me. If you send me email says, "Can you give me the link?" I will not give it to you. I have tons of people send me funny emails asking me for reference. I stay here for many hours. I give my reference. I share it. It took me a lot of work and time to find things for you because, you know, I don't prepare for my topic. When I mention reference, I look for it right away. I don't even save them in my uh, uh, bookmark because if you want to do that, I will have a billion bookmark. Uh, I have them all in my head. So don't ask me next time to find it for you. And if you are a person who would watch the video in different channel and you want to find this reference we see in the screen, especially the English one, the easiest one, type the same exactly like you know here, we are showing you the hadith number. Okay, just go Sunan Ibn Dawood, type the same hadith number in Google, you will find it. Let us say I did not show the number, I show only this. Type the same line. What do you think if I find with my wife a man? Should I give him some more time? Some time? I bet you will find it. You want me to make a website? I mean, I spend my life working to serve you guys and they want me to make a website, me. So what do you do? I have to make videos. I have to debate Muslims. I have to make them leave Islam. I have to make books and I have to make websites. So what what you people do? I'm the only Christian here. Spending my day and my life with this with the garbage of Muhammad. I should do, right? I should post in TikTok. I should post in YouTube, I should post in Twitter, I should post in Facebook, I should post in Google, I should post everywhere, me. I should give free translation in Chinese, in Russian, and what, what people do. You know, I'm not counting for you what I do, but people, they make me angry sometimes by saying those things. I mean, you help. This is a good idea. You make a website. There's many websites that are for free. You can make a blog, which is for free, for you to open. It doesn't cost you money, but you have time. You know, I finish from here, I receive an email. This guy is a Muslim. His wife, she is, etc. He want to talk to me. This guy, he know his daughter. This guy, etc. If you see the email I receive, and I speak in private way more than I do live on air. And each time I speak to those people, either they leave Islam or the family or some of them.
Yeah, you can use WordPress. There's many blogs for free, you know. And they have like a tools to design, make reference, like, uh, ref you know, make a, a, a page about women, page about uh, human rights, page about children, page about stupidity. <coughs> This is what's called teamwork. Yeah, but you know, the funny is, the Mohammedan, they think that I have an army of workers. When the fact I have only me, like Zakir Naik, he have, according to him, he have 400 people work for him full time with salary. 400. Can you believe it? This is what he said in his video. He have 400 people. They work full time. They got every month a full salary. I'm just a one person. So if you compare the work and the success we did with all the money they have, you can see how huge what we does. You know, we don't have all the support of uh, Joe Biden and Western government. They keep praising Islam. YouTube censor us. We cannot collect donation. We cannot, you know, where, wherever you go, they block you. They take you down. They censor you. You know, we, we have everybody against us. Still, we are ripping Islam apart. If you go and check from every 10 Muslim callers, how many of them they left Islam, you won't be surprised with the number. It's not like... After 100 call, we have one Muslim leave. Mostly, after 10 calls, we have seven, five of them leave Islam. Very high number. Like this poor guy who called me yesterday from, from Bangladesh. You know, he was so excited. You remember him? Zahur? Oh, he's, uh, he's, uh, his life. Let us call him. Let us see what happened to him. He's in. He's in Skype. <laughs> Let us see if he's still a Muslim. After what happened to him yesterday. Let me lower the the speaker. <laughs> Hello. Hey, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. You still a Muslim after what happened yesterday? Yeah. How come? Yeah. So did you find where the hail came from? What? I didn't hear you. Did you find where the hail came from? Uh, no, no. I was busy with something else. I ah, know. you were busy. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I Why hope. Uh huh. What? I think you are doing a stream about crucifixion and uh, resurrection of Jesus. Yeah, here we go. You are listening. So what do you think about this topic? Forget about the hell now. Uh, yeah, I believe yeah, Quran is uh, affirming uh, resurrection and uh, crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you, are, you, are, you believe that this is confirmed that Jesus was crucified, correct? Yeah, you, there's, no, there's no opposition in Quran. Uh, it actually, from if you... Look at holistically, Quran actually f confirms uh, resurrection and crucifixion of Jesus. So why the Muhammadan they say that Jesus was was not crucified? They go by they go by some, most Muslims you meet are Sunnis, so they go by the classical Sunni tafsis, uh -huh. which most of them uh, use a, a substitution or a Sun theory or substitution theory where uh, Jesus was uh, uh, replaced by someone who was disguised as Jesus. Okay, so uh, as long as you agree that yeah, yeah. Christ was crucified, uh, yeah. that means Muhammad is a liar. No, that's not a liar. See, even uh, you know about Ismail is right. During the classical period, which is uh, between 700s and 1200s, they also believed the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Okay, let me ask you. You said you believe in the Quran, correct? Yeah. Okay, but the Quran said they killed him not, nor crucified him. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, David Wood, he did a stream two days back with uh, Khalil Andani. Who? Khalil Andani. He's a Ismaili scholar, 
Islamic, uh, I mean, Islamic studies. <coughs> are, you, are, you an, are you an Ismaili? No, no, no. I use this position. It doesn't matter. See, first of all. No, uh, you know, my friend, f my friend, first of all, the Ismaili, uh, they are not even Muslims. Do you know Hassan al Hashash? Do you know Hassan al Hashash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hassan al Hashash is the founder of the Ismaili. The guy is a drug dealer. So how in the world that would make him a, a, a scholar? And uh, you know, this is a drug dealer. This is a mafia. Those people, they, the word assassin is coming from this guy. So you, you, you know, he's, you know, he have a castle full of women and drugs. He bring Muslim, okay. he bring Muslims to it, and he give them drugs, and he stay, you stay there for free, eating, having sex for a, a year, two years, and then he asks you if you want to come back, go and kill this guy. And he will send you a letter to that guy. Say to him, either you pay me or I will send an assassination assassinator to, to kill you. This is what Asma'ili is. So this is not okay. even how this guy can explain Islam. Okay, wait, I'll tell you. Even many, uh, some other Shia, Shia, Shias also accept uh, crucifixion and resurrection. Jesus, like no problem, Zayn. you see. But you are the one who said to me that you follow the Quran only, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm okay. saying... He doesn't use any hadith and he just uses Quran. No problem. I'm using the Quran. The Quran says they killed him not. Yeah, yeah. So it's, wait, I'll tell you, explain it why. Quran is responding to some, uh, I mean, some Jews. Some Jews who are boasting about killing of Jesus. So the, 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 they, they're saying he was not a Messiah. We killed him. They were laughing. It was a boasting tone. So Quran is responding by saying they didn't have the agency to kill. It was God's plan all along. So it's like, for example, you know in Quran. Okay, is what is the, what is God's plan? God's plan, for example, God's plan. It's like God has an agency over them. They were just an instrument for the. No, I mean, no, no. Death okay, no, no. You see, I'm trying to know what happened to Jesus. So it says here, if okay, the Jews they say oh, we killed Jesus. All right, they are proud about it. Okay, yeah. Allah respond by saying you did not kill him. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have the agency over them. You didn't have victory over them. Victory over Jesus. They don't have what? what? What do you mean by agency? What agency mean? Agency means they didn't have the control. They were just an instrument of God. I mean... Who like, care Who care if they have the control or not? Did they kill them or not? Yeah, they killed him according to Quran. Okay, yeah. but no, according to Quran, it says they killed him not. See... You know what is the meaning of killing in Quran? There is also there's other verses in Quran mm. where the where the believers killed someone in battle, and the Quran say you didn't kill them, you were just uh, you didn't kill them, God killed them. Doesn't you matter. Know, you know? They, they, still, they are killed. Yeah, yeah, they killed. But the Quran also confirms uh, th that type of killing in other verses, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Still, they killed them. So well, the, the the point here, did they kill yeah, yeah. him or not? So Allah is saying they killed him not. Yeah, yeah. So. They killed him not in that sense, like they had the complete control. No, God, no, and he is saying, and they crucified him not too. Yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you the explanation. You know, Sheikh Imran Hussein, he's a Sunni scholar. Hmm, this guy, he lives in Australia, right? A terrorist. No, no, he's, he's not a terrorist. He's not? Sheikh Imran, Sheikh Imran Hussein is from Trinidad and Tobago. He okay. did a, a few months back, many uh, recent, uh, I mean, he, uh, yeah, I saw his video. I saw, and he agree, he's saying yes, the Messiah was killed, and he said, yeah. he, and he said that uh, there is no way that Allah will be a liar, a cheater, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, his okay. explanation. But this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran says it was made appear to them. That means a cheater. Appear to, uh, appear to whom? Wait, first of all, apostles was not there. It was appeared to, appear to those Jews who were claiming to. Uh, have killed Jesus okay. and so they, they claim they, you just said they claim did they kill him or not yeah they killed him so I they mean, are not they are not claiming they, they are not claiming wait they killed him it depends what you mean by they killed him what do you mean what do you mean so if I kill you now uh, and you say to me it appeared to me I killed you Yeah, see the, the definition of killing the even Sheikh Imran Hussein explains it right. What was the definition of killing there? What is definition of killing? Somebody he you know he died. Death yeah, is killing. So, death is according to Sheikh Imran Hussein and according to Quran, I believe, when God, Allah takes away soul and doesn't return it. That's dead. That's called death. Okay, so did Allah he take his soul and return it? Yeah, he according yeah, he returned it and he raised him uh, up. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that means Jesus was killed and resurrected. Yeah, he appeared that to me. No, no. If you are saying like, that, uh, the, the, okay, hold on, hold on. You see, I'm going with you. I mean, you Muslims what? are really confused people. So he took his a, a spirit, right, and then he returned it. That is the resurrection. Yeah, that's what resurrection. Is okay, resurrection. so the Christians are telling the truth that Jesus was crucified and he was resurrected, and Muhammad and his followers are liars. Where, where did Muhammad say? I mean, you can use the hadith and say some hadith deny a crucifixion, but that doesn't prove historical Muhammad, not the uh, the picture created by Sunnis and others. How many Muslims? Okay. How many Muslims between the Muslims believe in such a, what you said? Yeah, they are mistaken. Yeah, they are mistaken. They are deceived. Yeah, hmm. by the scholars. But aren't you the one when I spoke to you last time? Oh yeah. You said to me that the Quran is enough because it's clear. Yeah. See, first of all, uh, you, Quran you Quran claims that all verses are not clear. Some verses are ambiguous. Uh, okay. So mean, okay. So guys, the Quran yeah. is a clear book, and the Quran says some of the Quran is clear and some of the Quran is not clear. But in the Quran is see, a clear book. See some descriptions of God, like you can say that what is throne of God and all, that will be confusing. You can't understand hmm. some verses like that. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, okay. You know, I want to ask you in the same chapter, this a, a, a verse or two after it says that all the people of the book they will believe in Jesus before he die. Uh, which verse can you tell me again? Chapter 4, verse number 159. Oh, chapter 4, verse number 159. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe in the end times. So the, I'll read the words. But wait, hold on, you know. Okay, I, I want to ask you. Uh, I don't know how sharp is your intelligence, but I'm assuming that you are an intelligent person. I don't want to be rude. So it says that the Christians they will believe in Jesus before he die, but they are Christian already. See, the mistake here is uh, Ahlul Kitab. Here, okay, Ahlul Kitab. If you take the pan textual means entire Quranic uh, meanings, how it is used. You can translate it as... Ahlul Kitab is those who have scriptures, and that means the Jews and the Christians. Yeah, yeah, doctor of the law. Law. Is no, 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 no. Ahlul Kitab have nothing to do with the law. That's, that is a, a, a false statement. Kitab mean book. Kitab mean book, not law. So, Ahlul Kitab, people of the book, as simple as that. And Muslims don't have a book. This is why they are not called people of the book. So we have book, we have God, we have messengers, you don't. So you don't have a book, you don't have God, you don't have a messenger. So, but the problem here, all the people of the scriptures, Jews and Christians, before he die, they will believe in him. But you said, he died. Um... Not sure what you're why, why you don't? Uh, I, I want you to do me a favor. Okay. As, as long as you are from like, I don't know, Bangladesh, Pakistan, I'm not sure. Why you don't send an email to Zakir Naik and tell him uh, if he would like to have a yeah. small chat with me? Do you think do you think he would dare to do it or he will be afraid? No, no, no I don't think so. He'll respond. See, huh? those, no, no, no. Okay, let us do this, me and you. Tell him, just telling the truth, that, you know, many Muslims call this guy Christian Prince and they are leaving Islam. Can you please refute him? No, I don't think so. He'll come to this. Just place. send an email what you will lose and you can share the email with me later. What do you think? I think many, I think uh, many of your followers or someone else has already. Uh, no, no, you, you, you will make a difference because you are from there. You can say that to him in his language, you know. No, no, no. And, he, and no you can. Huh? Him. There's no. Huh? There's no connection between me and him. We'll give him a donation, five dollars, he will clear answer. 
Is that going to help, you know? Yeah, just give him some money. We, we, we know his position, so his uh, position may be... Yeah, if you know his position, he denies his uh, crucifixion and resurrection. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, this is why I want to talk to him and to see, I mean, what's going on. Because every Muslim is saying a different story. What kind of religion is religion is? And, you know, as long as you know his uh, position... Wait, 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 I'll tell you. Many Christians also differ. You know, there are many types of Christianity, but... No, one there is... No, 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 no. The difference between Christians, my friend, is... Uh, uh, it, it, uh, is 99% of it, I found it, is about politics. Like when uh, the children of uh, the king, they divided the kingdom to Eastern and Western. And then, as usual, kings, they corrupt everything. So they, you know, the, the uh, priests, they take a side and became a political thing. Have nothing to do with God, you know? No, 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 listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Okay, but there is no different. If you go and ask any Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic, you will find that all of them, they believe in every single word in the Bible. Jesus was crucified. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The rest is not important. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you something. No, you know about Bart Ehrman. He's an expert on New Testament. He has a book called The Early Christianities. So there were many early Christianities like Ebionites, Nazarenes, who denied, uh, who didn't accept Paul. There were many like Gnostic Christians. My friend, those are those are not Christians. You can, you can, so you can no, no, Christian no. If you, my friend, my friend, it's not up to those whoever call himself a Christian. You can call yourself a Christian if you want. Yeah, uh, but, no, but no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. If there is a person don't accept Paul because simply he want to be drunk, he want to do gambling, he want to do fornication, no, no. he want to sleep no, around. No. That's why they don't like uh, Paul because no, Paul no, is very conservative. My friend, uh, my friend, uh, let me let Jerusalem. me make it simple for you. If somebody don't yeah. accept the Quran, is he a Muslim? Uh, your definition of Muslim depends. Muslim or no, no, I'm asking Muslim. you. Some simple question. Don't Quran. give me definition. If somebody okay. says I don't accept the Quran, is he a Muslim? Yeah, to mainstream Muslims, he's not a Muslim. Yeah, not a Muslim. Not well, this is exactly because if you don't accept the Book of God, Paul, and the yeah. disciple, we consider their writing is a writing of the book of God. So a person don't believe in the book of Act or the book of John or the book of uh, uh, Matthew. He is yeah, not He is not yeah. a Christian. They are not Christians. Yeah, yeah. According to the mainstream, they are heretics. They are not Christians. Mainstream orthodoxy. Exactly. So they are not Christians. So don't, call me, don't tell me those are Christians. So okay, wait, let wait, us go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. My friend, okay, I know. let us go back to zero. So now, so now I'm showing you Quran. The Quran said they killed him not. You said to me, you don't accept the hadith, but you yeah. accept Sheikh Omran. But Omran is, what the difference between hadith and Sheikh Omran? See, see, I don't accept everything Sheikh Imran said. I accept his position. He doesn't use anything. No, no, no. This is not, this is not what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If you don't yeah. accept any other source except the Quran, then no, you should I not. Don't accept. It's not like accepting. I use other sources, but I just accept Quran as a uh, the the highest authority because other Muslims equate hadith as equal to Quran or higher than Quran in some instances. That's the mistake they do. No, I mean the hadith is always high, the hadith is always higher than the Quran. Yeah, that's what the, that's what happened later on. I mean the okay, the but Sheikh Sunni but Sheikh Omran, he did not yeah. get his conclusion because the Quran saying they did not kill him. The Quran says they sorry they killed him. The Quran saying they did not kill him. But Sheikh Omran, because he's trying to find a solution for the stupidity of this verse, so he tried to fix it. So he said, no, no. well, no way, no way the Quran meant that must be something else. So he tried to find a solution. Otherwise, the, the, the Arabic word is so clear. It says, they killed him not and they crucified him not. He did not say maybe. He did not say. See, first of all, he's not responding to Christians. He's responding to Jews. Doesn't, yeah, ma doesn't it, matter, doesn't matter, my friend, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, because it, maybe uh, this is how ignorant you are. The Christians are the Jews. No, wait, it's not responding to earlier. No, 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 no wait, no, 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 wait. The Christians are the Jews because all the Christians at that time they were Jews. No, no, which Christians? We are not talking about early. Time of the Jesus, we are talking about time of... No, no, of no, no, he is talking about... No, 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 no. Because people who they are exist in the time of Muhammad, they are not the one who killed Jesus. No, 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 I know, but they start addressing to them... 
who are uh, at the time. No problem. You can talk to me, but are talking about what happened before, right? So he is yes. saying when they say we killed them, it's not those who they are around. Muhammad is the one who killed them. This is six hundred years yeah, after. So he said but, they killed him not. They killed him not. Who the one six hundred years before? Nor yeah. crucify them. So Sheikh Amran, he when he studied this, he said this is stupid. You know, if he, Allah, he, if Allah, he made it appear. Sorry. See, first of all, then you, you are reading into the covers of substitution theory. There's no mention of substitution theory like there is a Jesus is replaced. No, he, it, no, it mentioned that. No, it mentioned that. It says, well, it was made to appear to them. Yeah, yeah. Appear, what, what does it appear mean? Does it mean substitution? There's no mention uh, of on. replacing so, Jesus. Let us, say, let us say the worst scenario. Allah, he made an illusion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But that alone is enough to prove to many things. Number one, the Christian and the Jews who were there, they saw someone on the cross. Number two, he was crucified. Number three, if this is an illusion, that means you, what you said to me is a lie. Because you said to me, yes, I believe that Jesus was crucified and even he died. And then Allah, he gave him his soul back and he resurrected him, correct? Wait, wait, so, wait, wait. You know, the, you know, David would write, he attacks... Uh, uh, Muslims most most of the time for denying crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Mm. Er, earlier, uh, I mean, two days back, he did a long stream on capturing Christianity. You know, uh, Cameron Bartuzzi. You know that guy, right? No. Who? What's his name? No. Okay. He uh, is a channel capturing Christianity. He discusses uh, intellectually uh, uh, defending uh, Christian theism okay. against atheists and other positions. Okay. Uh, Okay, he did a stream with uh, Khalil Nandan. Even if you don't accept his Ismaili, he doesn't uh, put Ismaili beliefs and all. He uses the uh, historical argument and only Quranic argument. David ex David would accepts Quran doesn't uh, Quran sixty uh, percent. He his position is uh, the, uh, the uh, end uh, end of the stream. The sixty percent is that Quran sixty uh, percent of his uh, I mean uh, what probability is Quran accepts and. Uh, accepts resurrection and the crucifixion of Jesus, 40% he, uh, he denies. According to David Wood, he accepts... Uh, first of all, no first of all, I mean, who is David Wood? Is David Wood now as a scholar in Islam? No, you no, don't... no, he's not close. Okay, scholar, but he has, okay, he has, he has, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Secondly, okay. secondly, I don't care what people say. The Quran in front of me says they killed him not. And then you yeah, said to he, me... Uh, uh, no, no, uh, you see, you, you, you see, you see, you see. Maybe you misunderstood David Wood. Maybe you misunderstood everybody because I just said if, before I call you, the Quran, in fact, confirmed the death of Jesus. Because when you say that Allah made it appear to us, that means this is what we saw, and what we saw is what we should say that we saw. Correct? An honest person is a person who say what he saw. Do I agree? See, you are. Do I, do I agree that if I say what I saw, I am an honest person? It's a, oh, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're taking the Quran verse. You're specifically zoning on the uh, on that verse. There's you're no other verse. The There's no other verse. There's no other verse about crucifixion. This verse, this is the only verse says they crucified him not. See, that's a mistake. Even David would uh, uh, criticize other Muslims. He says all the Muslims say other verses. It's not exactly what it's like. It's like uh, saying like, Kill the disbelievers. Uh, other Muslims, uh, David Wood is saying, other Muslims say that it's not saying or kill all the believers. He's saying a specific historical context, this, this, this that. They use those excuses. When the, when it comes to this verse, they, uh, most, many Muslims... My friend, just, my friend, this is a different story. Oh, oh, no the, word, the word it's here not, is not about just kill. Uh, this is about a person. His name is the Messiah. He was in the cross. So there is a physical tool to kill. There's a, there's, a, there's a place and there's people and there's witnesses. There's the killers and they themselves, they are the witnesses. And they are witnessing that we killed him. So, and Allah is not saying they say they did not kill him. Actually, he confirmed that they say we killed him. And then Allah, he says they killed him not. So, it, when Allah, he said they killed him not, he meant they killed him not or they, he meant they killed him. See, Quran is saying they killed him not in uh, killed him not kill definition is the main important thing. What do you mean by killed here? That's the problem. Here. Kill, not, yeah, uh, kill. I mean, we are talking about the death, man. We are talking about death. 
What well, kill have different definitions since when? Yeah, so even Sheikh Imran Hussein, do you define what uh, being killed means? What what uh, what his definition of kill? See, killed is mm -hmm. uh, killed means uh, when uh, Allah takes away souls and doesn't return it. Listen, listen. I mean, I mean, you and Sheikh, I, I, I'm not insulting you, but this, you know, I am a person who speak uh, without sugar coating. You and your Sheikh is stupid. So, uh, all of us, God one day will resurrect us. So, based on what you said, if the soul came back, that's mean he did not kill us, but that means none of us died, because one day God will give the soul back to the body, and we will be resurrected. It doesn't matter if it's a year or a day or a century. So based in the statement you are saying that you are only dead. Huh? Wait, death means before a day of the judgment. We are talking about before day of judgment. Jesus died before the day of judgment. When, when, when the whole world will end and all the people of uh, the previous, uh, I mean, uh, previous times will resurrect. That's the difference there. The Quranic definition of death that according to Sheikh Imran Hussein, that I accept what Quran says. You see, uh, this is the reason a lot of Muslims they leave this stupid religion, because you will notice that everybody he start giving you is you know Islam is like a uh, like a flea market in uh, in Thailand in the Philippines. Uh, you wait, know, I, everything I mean, is. Uh, also leave Christianity because of different. Forms of Christianity. No, no, Arabic. you will not find two Christians. You will not find this two Christians disagree about Jesus' crucifixion. You will not find no, two no. Christians disagree no, about no. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. No, no, my friend, we are talking about one verse, very simple. Each one of you, he yeah. tried to give it different meaning. When the verse saying they crucified him not, so you try to say, oh, okay, this will have different meaning. What is the meaning? They crucified him not. They crucified him not, and they don't kill him. It was made appear to them. And now we make, when he say they killed him not, we make it like he killed him. So Allah, he said, we killed, you killed, you know, they killed him not. You understand that they killed him. See, see death can be, uh, see, even, uh, death can be a destruction of the soul or destruction of the body. My friend, they killed him or not killed him. They stop being giving definition and stupid things. You, isn't it you Muslim you say Jesus is just a human being, right? Jesus is not a normal human being according to Quran. He, yeah. He is not a normal human being? Yeah. He's but not, he's not God. He is not normal human being. So what he is? He is a special type of uh, creature, but he's not uh, God. But he's not, yes, special powers. Yeah, he is a special kind of a creature. So, what is the creature? He is what? What? What his kind is? No, yeah, I don't know. Quran does says he's a special kind of prophet, special creature who has special powers uh, confirmed to. I mean, given to by God, and mm. he's but his uh, uh, Quran denies the uh, divinity of Christ, basically Trinity and. Uh, Quran, so, what God. he is? Is he an angel? Yeah, he could be higher than angel or angel status, but he's not. Uh, so why you Muslim, God. you say that Muhammad is superior to 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 Jesus? See, uh, I don't see. Uh, I, you are saying uh, other Muslim. What other Muslims say? I don't say what other Muslims say. I don't know. What, it depends on what you mean. Higher than no, he he's uh, he might be higher than. Jesus. All of no, you, Muhammad. you know, Muslims, Muslims. This is the majority. Muslim, they say that Muhammad yeah. is the most superior prophet over all other his prophet. That's false belief. I tell you, Quran says that uh, all all uh, prophets are an, in our eyes are equal. That's the uh, meaning they take out of the hadith that he's the most superior prophet. The Quran says Quran, all prophets are equal. Yeah, yeah. Quran says in one verse is they right. We don't distinguish between any prophets. They're not. They're all equal to us. Yeah, but the uh, other verse, other verse says we distinguish. Which verse you are talking about? You never heard There's of it. There's no meaning that uh, you have to place one prophet higher than other. He's superior, he's better. The other prophets have to. Uh, I mean. That means he differentiate. If the if there is one is superior, that means he differentiate. Yeah, yeah, but there's no there's no explicit mention of what you're saying. If you if there is, can you tell me the verse? Chapter two, verse number two five three. Chapter two, verse two, one two, one five three. Two five three. <clears throat> yeah, two, uh, 
those messengers we gave preference to some of them over others among them we will send those to whom god spoke and those of, yeah quran says some messengers are in higher degree but what quran was saying in the other verse was we don't uh, use this as a i mean boasting to others like our prophet is better than others like putting the other prophet on we say my friend, we my friend you just prophet. told me you just told me you just told hold on you just told me yeah. yourself that jesus is even higher than angels yeah they, he could be yeah, okay uh, that's mean he differ yeah yeah he could be yeah he could be in a higher and that mean he distinguish okay if we ask you now we have a king we have a king yeah, yeah. and from all his kingdom everybody die but this king he want to keep only one person with him to the end which one this king he favor from all his kingdom the one who all of them they are dead or the one who is alive next to him yeah yeah the king is favored yeah he's the better so muhammad is not favored then you agree yeah Jesus, uh, it, yeah, Jesus is right now. Quran, yeah. Jesus right now is alive, and Muhammad is dead. Correct. By alive, you mean his soul is with God. That's that you mean that. No, Jesus is alive, literally. There's not not according what soul. To, according to Christian belief, he's alive. Yeah, according to Quran's belief, he's with God. His soul is with God. What soul? There's no soul. What soul? His soul. Yeah, he was raised up to God. That's he, he was, the, what, what is raised to God is only his soul? No, his body. There's no mention of his body. It's only what soul do you mean? is raised up. You, know, you are the one who said to me that Allah gave back his soul to him and then he took him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. His, yeah, yeah. his body is raised up to God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you for talking. You know, we will call you again next time. Thank you. No, no, wait, wait. I'll tell you something. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, you give me a headache. You know, I mean, you say, you say, I, I mean, know. you contradict yourself. You, you are a, you, you are a chain of contradiction. You forget what you say. You remind me of my grandfather, who have a, a very great memory. You know, he only like you know he he says something in the beginning, and okay. he say the opposite at the end. The second you ask him if you have money. You know, okay, like, I got it. like you know, he he talk about everything perfectly, and his memory is so good, and his hearing is so good. The second you ask him if he have money, he is not hearing you. This is you. Wait, wait. So okay, I got it. Okay, hear me once. Okay, I'm not new into this apologetics. I'm trying to get better. And another thing, okay, uh, see the stream with the uh, the new video uh, David Wood with uh, Khalil Andani. Just see if you don't want to believe what I don't say, care, my, my friend. All of this is kids' talk. Okay, kids. Those talk, those people they call themselves scholars, but none of them. What who is who is this guy, Tani? Who is this guy? Nobody. You see, no, no, but you a, you Muslims, you you Muslims, you Muslims. Every one of you is a scholar, but they don't even know how to read the Quran. No, wait, 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 wait. You don't believe. If you want, I am not saying to believe him. I just see the stream between uh, David Rudd and Khalil Andani. Uh, it's an important stream. If you want to see, if you see, but I'm just recommending. You, you know, I don't count any of those videos to be valuable because those people they start talking about philosophy. I know, you know, this it's just a, a chit chat. There's nothing serious. There's nothing no, real. But you know what David would write? He's a fierce uh, defendant of Quran. He fierce critic of Quran. And My friend, I, I'm not talking about he, David Wood, but I'm talking yeah, about I, the method and the guest. Did you ask yourself why this guy he come to talk to David Wood, not to me? Yeah, yeah, because you know uh, William Lane Craig, you know William Lane Craig. No, no. Do you do you do you know why Muslims when I come to David Wood, but not to me? No, I'll tell you. Because they are right because they are they can have they they can show that they have some authority and knowledge. In front of me, they will look like stupid. Wait, wait. See, first of all, Khalil Nandani may or may not know you. I'm not. I'm not defender of Khalil Nandani. I'm just saying why he came to debate de de debate David Wood was because uh, you know William Lane Craig. He's a bigger uh, Christian defender. You know William Lane Craig, right? No, I don't know him. Yeah, he's a big Protestant Christian defender. And mm. during one of his, uh, I mean, uh, shows, uh, I mean, uh, he he says the biggest Achilles heel of uh, heel of Quran is, I mean, Islam is uh, it denies resurrection and crucifixion of Jesus. No, so no, that Tani is not the biggest, my friend. This is not the biggest. Everything about Islam is the biggest because Islam. I know, no? I know, I know. Hold on. See, he was. Just, no, oh, yeah, know, I know, but most of those Christians they don't even know how how, how filthy Islam is. 
Islam is, a, Islam is a pagan cult. Islam have different God. The God of Islam don't have a spirit. The God of Islam is a liar. He's a deceiver. He's a cheater. He, you know, he fool people. He deceive people. He, do, he have double standard. So when somebody says the difference between Islam and Christianity is the biggest thing is the, the crucifixion of Jesus, that is a very bad mistake because we share nothing with this cult. Nothing. Your ethic is zero. Your law is zero. You broke the Ten Commandments of God. You have no commandment of God. You you call fornication muta. You change names for sin. Theft became booty. Fornication become muta. Marriage become fornication. With the file become wife. Thieves become heroes. Flirting with married women become the privilege. Women offering herself to the Prophet to sleep with her, to F her. It's holiness. So Islam is not sharing a zero, nada, anything with the Christianity. So when some Christian they say mistakenly, uh, the difference between us, they don't believe in Jesus, that he is crucified. That is, that is the crazy stuff to say because we don't share nothing. Your God is not, our God is a spirit. Your God is not. Our God is holy. Your God is filthy. Uh, our God is about, uh, uh, you know, if a person, if a person, he say the word foolish, just foolish, hmm? and the person in front of him is not foolish, that will cause him to go for judgment in judgment day. In Islam, the prophet, he used to beat people who unjustly, and he says that, and he claimed that if he beat people unjustly, and he whipped their back, and he say the F word to them, Allah, he made a condition with Allah to make it a blessing for them. So Islam is the devilish, the devilish. Even Muhammad, he claimed, I don't know if you know this hadith, he said that he received command from shaitan and his shaitan is a Muslim. Do you know that? No, I don't know what that is. Yeah, let me show it to you. And as long as you said you accept some hadith and you reject some, which because the... No, I didn't say, first of all, I didn't say I don't consider hadith as authority at all. I, I just look at a history or fabricated history. I yeah. don't look at well, uh, uh, th this is the point actually. This is another point. Islam is nothing but a fabrication because even the authentic source, Muslim themselves, they confirm it is a fabrication. So Islam cannot be trustworthy. And this is a good point you mentioned. Look at this. Muhammad he says, there's none amongst you with whom not attached from the devil, shaitan, to him. The companion, they said to him, Allah, messenger, would you too? Thereupon he said, yes. But Allah helps me against him, so I am not safe. I'm, I'm safe from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. Did you do you see the word command me? Yeah, I see that in this. Way. Okay, yeah. who command a prophet of God? Have you ever heard of a good devil? <coughs> no. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so a good devil since when? This is why I say you Muslims and us, we share nothing. We never believe that there's, we never heard there's a good devil. Good good Satan? There's a good Satan. And this good Satan, and this good Satan, he's a nice Satan. He command Muhammad, not Allah. So the one who command Muhammad is Satan. No, no, it's not a good Satan. It, it is saying jinn. Jin no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You see, even in your stupid hadith says, Devil, do you see? Devil. In the Hadith Muhammad, actually, in the Arabic one, it says, Shaitan, each one of you have a oh. Satan. Yes, each one of you have a Satan, and he convert him to Islam. Here we go. Let me show you. Read with me. You know? You know how to read, right? Let us see. Yeah. Uh, uh, let us see. And actually here there's a hadith about a woman, about Aisha, she played with the head of Muhammad and Muhammad he said to her, is shaitan with you now? You know? <laughs> so, uh, do you see the word shaitan? Yeah. Okay. Did the shaitan convert to Islam? Uh, I don't understand what you mean by convert to Shaitan. Well, it says uh, here he, he became a Muslim. It says for Islam, they translate the word Islam, say submitted. See, here devil doesn't mean Satan. There could be many. No, 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 hold on. It says Shaitan. In Arabic, it says Shaitan. Yeah. Shaitan is different from Iblis. Shaitan doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Shaitan is a Shaitan. 
Shaitan is adversary who opposes God. Right? No, no, no. Shaitan is the seed and the and the children of Mr. Iblis. And yeah. when they ask, when we ask Muslims, how Iblis he have kids when Allah, like you know, when Allah he kicked Adam and Eve, he kicked only three individual, correct? He kicked only the mention is Adam and Eve were uh, put down to earth. I mean, and and, and Iblis, correct? Yeah, no, what do you mean? No, they're not mentioned together. It just separately says. No, this is no, no. Allah, He said to them, "Ihbutu, get down, all of you." Yeah, all of you. But it doesn't mention. Uh, no, it no, it mentioned. No, no, it mentioned. You are ignorant. Here we go. It's chapter two, verse number two, uh, thirty-eight. You know, you, you know, in Arabic, when you say. All of you, this is not two. Ehbutu is for more than three, three and more. Ehbutu, minha jami'an, all of you, and you will be an enemy to each other. So Allah, he cursed shaitan, which means Iblis, and Adam and Eve, and he said to them, get down, all of you. So there's three individuals. Do you want me to show you more evidence? Yeah, fine. I know the, there's mention of uh, all three are sent down. I'm not saying, but I'm saying Quran doesn't deny, doesn't doesn't deny that others were also sent down. No, no, there's nowhere. That's false. You are the one who said to me. No, no, but no. Hold no, on, there's no mention, hold on. I know, there's no mention of Quran uh, saying. No, 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 no. Hold on. Quran mentioned only three: Adam and Eve and yeah, yeah. and Iblis. And you said to yeah, me, and you said to me. Iblis is the one, not Shaitan, but the Quran is using the word actually Shaitan. No, I know. All right. I know. So let me no, let me I... make the question simple for you. Allah He kicked down three individual, Adam, Eve, and Satan. Do I agree yeah. now? Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay. How Satan get married and have kids? See, that's the ambiguous part. We don't know. No, I know. That's ambiguous for you because all of all Muslims are ambiguous people. So, according to the uh, the, the Muslims, uh, this uh, according to Muhammad too, that Satan he uh, when Allah he sent him down, he have a penis uh, in his left in his right thigh, and he had a vagina in the left thigh, and then he shake this and he do nikah to that by entering to each other and then he lay down 10 eggs every day and every egg have to have 72 satan male and female shaitan do you agree no i don't like uh, no i don't agree it is there in hadith right i don't uh, accept hadiths a second ago you said you accept no i didn't say see i don't accept hadiths i just look it at a history i don't accept it as authority at all first of all uh. Yeah, I'm just looking at it for yeah, some. But you, but you notice with me here that the Muslims they 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 come with those stories to find this the stupidity of the Quran, how the Quran speak about one Satan, and then suddenly the one Satan becomes a million Satans, billion Satans. So they try to find a solution, and what is a solution? Shaitan have a penis. He's a transgender. He have a penis in the right right, right thigh. He have a vagina in the left thigh. Uh, if you go in the Quran and you read the taf tafsir, it says "Zuriyatahu." Are you going to follow Shaitan to worship Shaitan and his uh, offspring? What offspring? What do you think? What See, what what offspring? I'm asking you. No, I don't accept the uh, hadith. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not. Him. I'm not talking about the hadith. I'm talking about the Quran. Yeah, the Quran doesn't say anything about. I mean, the, it doesn't explicitly explicitly say, say about anything about children of Satan or. Uh, no, it says it says a chapter eighteen, verse number fifteen. Shaitan have babies. Yeah, it doesn't say. I mean, how he had babies. That's what I'm saying. No Islam problem. Okay, but how? Hold on. God of Islam, he copied the story of the Bible of Adam and Eve, and then he copied the word Satan. Copy the the the, the Satan deceived them. But then suddenly, Satan, he have a children. 
And you are saying to me, he did not explain. Would we find that in, this, in the interpretation for the Hadith, the Quran, it says Allah, he created for him a, a penis in the right thigh and a vagina in the left thigh. And then he F himself, the Unukah. And then he lay eggs. Yeah, so I don't accept. Uh, yeah, hadith say many many uh, weird things about uh, uh, many other many characters in the Quran, but I don't accept. Uh, when you say hadith. there's many weird hadith, are you talking about the, the weird the prophet who mentioned those weird things? How yeah, you, see, they, how you say said, how you say yeah. the hadith is weird without insulting your prophet? You're insulting your prophet. You're saying see, he's a weird I'm, man. He says stupid things. This is the Sirah Qurtubi. Let me put it for you on the screen. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Oh. And I will use Google translation, you know. So here they are asking, how shaitan he have kids? Let me post the link for everybody in the chat. So they can use Google translation. So they were asking how shaitan he had kids, you know. Actually, one of them he asked, how shaitan he have kids? The other companion, he said, this is a wedding party I did not, I have not attend yet, you know. So if you go down here, you will see, uh, let us see. Uh, I'm trying to find, where does this say? Give me a second. Let's see. I'm trying to find exactly where in the page it says what we are talking about. Um, Uh, hold on, I am posting the wrong verse. Okay, give me a second. Uh, the wrong, the wrong uh, 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 interpretation. All right. All right, here we go. All right, so the Fsir al Qurtubi, the same website, uh, the chapter 18, verse number 50. Here we go. Yeah. And I will use Google Translation. I will put it on the screen. Give me a second. See, the same website I opened, but Al Qurtubi, not Al Tabari. That was one, it was Al Tabari. So look, look with me. And I will use Google Translation. It says here, وَقَالَ مُجَاهِدْ إِنَّ إِبْلِيسَ أَدْخَلَ فَرْجَهُ فِي فَرْجَ نَفْسِهِ وَبَادَ خَمْسَ بَيْضَاتِ So Iblis, he did if himself by ifing himself. So he laid down five eggs. And this is the origin of his offspring. And he said, and they say, that Allah, he created for him in his right thigh a penis and his left thigh a vagina. So he do nikah, you see the Muslim, they say the word yankah mean to marry. You see the lie, yankah mean to F. So he do yankah, this with that, and then he lay down every day, 10 eggs, and from every egg, 70 male and female shaitan come out. Let me use Google translation, so everybody can see, and I will give the link to everybody in a second. Here we go. And this is the link. It's in Arabic, remember? Open it with Google Browser. And then use Google Translation. And the easiest way maybe to find the translation where it says that, let us search for the word egg in English now. Here we go. So here it says, right before, uh, then uh, Satan 
Mujahid Sayyid says Satan inserted in his vagina his penis. It doesn't say the word, it's not showing the word penis. Inserted inserted his, his penis in his vagina, in his own vagina, which means he inserted actually the word vagina translate twice, but it should be once as a penis, one as a vagina. So he inserted his penis into his own vagina and he laid five eggs. And this is the origin of his offspring. And it was said that the Almighty created for him, uh, which means for Shaitan, uh, a penis in the right thigh, not remember us, a penis in the right thigh, and a vagina in the left thigh. So he do nikah. You see that Google translate the word nikah as marriage. No. So he do nikah, he do marry, <laughs> he do nikah. Do this by that. So he ate himself. And then he laid down 10 eggs, and out of those 10 eggs, from each one of them, will come 70 every day, every day. 70 devil, male and female. This is your religion. See, you're saying this is your religion. I don't believe in this, so you can't accuse me of this. You can say about other Muslims who blindly follow their scholars and their, uh, they don't talk lead of... Uh, my friend, their... my friend, how many of you Muslims don't believe in this? Yeah, I know I'm a minority position. I'm very okay. little. I'm so, you know, uh, so, you know, isn't it Muhammad, he says... Uh, uh, my my people will not the majority agree about something is false <laughs> so based on Muhammad word if the majority agree upon something it's not going to be false and this is the majority see that's the mistake you're using hadith according to Quran so what I will use how I can explain Islam how I can understand Islam if I cannot use the Quran we read the Quran the Quran says they killed him not you Muslim you say no it meant he killed him uh, he did not die, you know, no, it's mean he died. So the word kill did not mean kill. I mean, everything is upside down. And then we try to understand, you know, you say, oh, this is the problem. So we go and see what Muhammad said. Oh, no, you cannot say what Muhammad said because it's messed up. So this is what we are trying to say to all people here. This is a garbage religion, my friend. See, I'll, see, I'll tell you something. Uh, tell me something. Even in Quran, no, I'll, I'll tell you something. In Quran, it says, right, my people have abandoned Quran. You know, Muhammad says, I mean, uh, who is recipient of Quran says in the Quran, you know about that verse, right? Mm. They have abandoned the Quran on the day of the judgment, something like that is there. The verse is there, right? Mm. But isn't it Muhammad he abandoned the Quran? No, but not Muhammad, his people. No, no, no. He, he, you, you are the one who said there is some hadith are higher than the Quran. No, I didn't say, I say Muslims say. Muslim considered some hadith. Ah, hadith. Muslims, Muslims. So what are you? Hindu? No, I see. I'm not those Muslims. I'm saying the scholars have defined it as that, and those Muslims blindly follow what the scholars says. Hmm. Let me ask you: Do you go to mosque? No, I don't go to mosque. Do you have any sheikh agree with you? I don't follow any sheikhs. I mean, I don't uh, hmm. explicitly look for sheikhs. No. Okay. Well, you know what. Uh, I'm glad I talked to you actually. I hope you will see the, the, what I'm trying to show you. And I hope soon yeah, I you will know, leave this garbage. I know, understand. See, I understand you're uh, honestly looking at all the positions. You accept Christ as God and you're Christian and you're seeing uh, so much filth in uh, hadiths and what it has done to people. I understand what you're saying. Even I, am, uh, I support you in this journey. I'm just saying uh, I don't accept uh, oppressing others. I mean, doing unjust deeds to others. I mean, what and all is the using hadith uh, this i mean scholars do uh, have a uh, okay uh, you know what i'm going to give you a homework i asked you a question 24 hours ago if you remember them yeah. and I, I will call you next time i want you to study it carefully and find me how the hell is coming from mountains in heaven and how yeah, and how the sperm become uh blood little blood and uh, what is the third one i ask you Third one, uh, yeah, it was about Solomon. You were talking about the star. About Solomon, yeah, about my grandfather, how uh, he died standing on the stake, you know. So I will give you another maybe 24 hours, you know, if I yeah, can yeah. go live, and I will call you again. I'm happy to talk to you. You are a nice person. I have nothing against you, but I hope, I hope you will be, you will think seriously about, you know, where you stand because obviously this is not a religion, my friend. This is messed up. This is totally messed up. Thank you for thank you for uh, joining okay. us today. All right. Thank. You. Okay. Take care.
And by the way, it's true. Shaitan, he have a penis in the right thigh and he have a vagina in the left thigh. He is a transgender. Ask Joe Biden. And he lay eggs. He lay eggs. He's a chicken. You know? You know, okay, he have a penis and a vagina and he lay eggs. Do he breast do he do breastfeeding? <clears throat> and you know, you will notice that Muhammad and Muhammad and they are stuck with number 70. 70 versions, 70, etc. Jesus he said the word 70, Muhammad, he took it, he used it everywhere. A thief in everything. He stuck with number 70, he stuck with number three. How in every egg will give 70 Satan? What's just one egg? So every day, this guy, he gives 700, he makes 700 Satan. Because there are 10 eggs. And look how authentic the Muslims. Here it says it's five eggs. Right away, a line after, it says 10 eggs. Is it five eggs or ten eggs? Do you like Donald Trump or Biden? I mean, have you ever heard of someone, a Christian, he would like the Biden? The most filthy Antichrist person. May God take him to his hell and keep him there forever. Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, 70, uh, 70 Satan. They come every day. What an idiot religion. Yeah. And the prophets say, don't enter the market. Not Don't be the first to... Look at the superstition of Muhammad. Don't be the first to enter the market, neither the, not the one who last to leave it. Why? Because shaitan, he lay his eggs what so if you what will happen if I am the first one who entered the market what exactly would happen let us say shaitan he lay his eggs okay and now I enter the market what exactly will happen any Muslim can tell me I mean what is the consequence mr. shaitan he lay his eggs you enter the market the first one, or you left the market the last one. And based on this, nobody can enter the market at all because always there is somebody who will be the first. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, imagine you are a supervisor of a company and you say to your, to your employee, don't be the first one who entered the company. That means nobody ever will enter it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because there is a risk. So we will go to the company in front of the market now, and all of us we will stand outside waiting for somebody to get in. Because none of us want to be the first one. And then we are going to leave. We are going to leave. You know? Uh, maybe leaving is easier because like the faster he leave there is a person who will stay in the, at the end that is the one in trouble what will happen exactly like once i was in the front of the elevator a woman she came she, you know i was standing on the wall you know uh, next to the elevator a woman she came she's she's right behind me Another guy, he came, he waited too. The third guy, he came, uh, and this elevator is not coming down. You know, They thought I, I did the press the bomb. I'm not going up. I'm waiting for somebody to come down. Nobody thought, maybe this guy, he didn't want to, you know, he did not even push the bomb. It's not even red. Don't you see there is no light? So all of them, they assume that I am waiting for the elevator and already I pressed the bomb. And they are waiting. And this will happen to you if you follow Muhammad. 
Don't be the first one to enter the elevator. But that means nobody can enter the elevator. Because nobody be, will be the first one. And I challenge the Muslim to tell us what will happen if I am the first one to enter the market. What, what will happen exactly? What is the risk? This is a pure, stupid superstition. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to remind you to unsubscribe in case you subscribe already. If you did not, if you did not subscribe, subscribe and unsubscribe. This way you can have fun in YouTube. You know, like psh, just give your finger some support. Like instead of going to the gym, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe. Don't give a like, like and like, like and like. You know, drive drive YouTube not. Maybe you can crush it too. <laughs> Anyway, guys, <laughs> the glory to the Lord, our Lord and Savior, the Messiah. He is risen. He is alive. He is the King of King. And He is the walking, talking, living Word of God on earth. And every knee will bow down to Him. And Muhammad, He is going to be sent to hellfire for His lies, deceiving hundreds of millions of people. When the Lord come back in the day of judgment, Muhammad cannot save you. A child molester, he cannot save you. A pedophile cannot save you. A cheater cannot save you. A liar, he cannot save you. Go and read your own book stories and you will find that everything I said is this is what he is. The only one can save you, my friend, is his holy name, Christ the Lord. He said, my father gave me the authority over the flesh. And your flesh is under his authority. And he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And his will is to worship his son and to obey his son. So they might know, glorify, Father, glorify me, and I glorify you. For I was with you before the existence of this world, before the existence of this universe, before the creation, the Messiah is exist. For everything created by him and for him, the Bible say. So I ask the Muslims to repent before it's too late. A man who has sexual privilege cannot be from God. A man who asks for sexual and money privilege cannot be from God. All cult leaders, they share the same target. Your women, your money, and authority over you. Jesus neither asked you for your women. Jesus never asked you for your money. And Jesus did not need you and need your authority. For he is the king of kings. And Jesus in the top of that, who he is the person who can resurrect people from death. He washed the feet of his disciple. He did not seek a privilege. And he taught them, if you cannot be a servant, you cannot be a master. Did your prophet wash the feet of his disciple? Or he took their wives and slept with them and their daughters? Or he took the fifth of the booty. Sixteen, the privilege of Muhammad, eleven of them about sex and money. That is Muhammad. And that is Jesus. So glory to him, the Messiah, the Lord, the King of Kings. He is risen. He is alive. He is the resurrector. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is life. And he said, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the way. That is Jesus. Thank you all. God bless you. And we wish you a great time with the Lord. Pray for your salvation and your family. Pray for your health. And ask the Messiah for no one else to ask. Take care.